still see this gorgeous back. Hello, my beautiful star children. The SAG says hello. And today we're going to be asking the question, what the hell is wrong with this goofy ass sarcastic fringe head? Let's take you back a little bit, though. Why are we doing this? Why does it seem like there is an infinite? Well, there is a creator, a fellow sap content creator and good friend, Equi. You want to check out his channel. Link will be in the description. Video will be there as well. He theorized that fringe head can go infinite if both teams have a fringe head at the front and the back. Fringe head reads something like, spawn you know faints spawn the backmost friend as a one one copy uh to the enemy in front or whatever and it has no trigger limit correct we we can all see it right there is no trigger limit so theoretically it should go infinite if if this like rare instance is to happen and by infinite i mean like they just keep attacking until like the attack turn thingy is done um and so like he didn't even, like, have the build on screen. I just took that and ran with it as far as I could. All the way to my alt account where I decided Andre Andre was going to take on standard customs. <laughs> uh, it, it was just going to be so much easier to test this way. I, I felt like since we didn't have definitive proof, there was no point in me trying to run it on my main uh, just because I knew the setup was going to be incredibly hard. You need three fringe heads and two level two donkeys. Two fringe heads need need to be quite sizable. They both need mushroom. Well, I think maybe only one needs mushroom and one just needs to have like a honey or a mushroom. You end up going mushroom just because it's there. But I'm, I'm pretty sure honey is is an option as well. I mean, it's, it is no option because there's no fucking point in doing it this is also an insane start i have double fringe head baboon turn five and i am popping off you get to see like a little bit of the combo here because so when my front one dies it always summons my back fringe head for them which is going to summon their back unit for me right and you see where this is going and we go back and forth back and forth now the problem that i very quickly realized is that that just doesn't work there is some sort of hidden trigger limit like world world building limit um for the fringe head and there's like that's not stated anywhere like you would never you would never know that right but apparently it affects both players because it when you're giving fringe heads to to them Right, you would be like, oh well, they have you know at least three trigger limit or whatever, and you have the three trigger limit. That's just not the case. It is, I'm pretty sure three or four. I, I couldn't really tell. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see the the rounds up here in a little bit, but it's like three or four, and that's all you get. That's it, brother. You don't get any more than that. And I was I was thoroughly, is that the right word? I was sorely disappointed. Because <laughs> I was like, this should work. And it, it didn't take me that long to get it going. But it took me, you know, a little bit of time, right? What the hell am I doing? Oh, I'm going to sell Baboon. That makes sense. And then we're just going to rabbit scale. Yeah, I, being on my alt was, like, so easy, too. Th there's a run at the very end where it just goes... Like, it's unbelievable how, how I was even at that point. Maybe... <laughs> I was like, maybe I should show you the whole run, but this is kind of similar, where the other teams are just so fucking weak. Um, and, you know, it's it's no fault of theirs, probably. They're just checking out, like, the new free-to-play stuff. They probably don't play Arena that much or whatever, or new to the game, what have you. There is, I don't know if you know this, but there is a, a also a hidden MMR ELO system for arena it's split into brackets you have the lower bracket and the higher bracket so if you don't have a lot of time on your account a lot of games played you will just naturally be in that lower bracket until you finally hit like a threshold i don't know what that threshold is nobody knows it's like these fucking fringe heads dude we don't we don't know we don't know anything fucking big team wood is hiding information from us and i and i don't know why just 
come out with the truth. Come out with the truth. Just say it. Puff out your chest. Um, I think Sarcastic French Head is like a super cool unit. Grounded just put out a video pretty recently uh, about it, and it, it's such a cool build that he did. It fucking awful. One of the worst builds I've ever seen. But it was extremely creative, and there's something about making extremely creative teams that are very satisfying. And even if even if the thing only works once, I mean, like Grounded was ecstatic when he faced my absolute shitter team. Um, that'll probably be the next thing we go over is why I had that team in the first place. And hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. It has to do with an a real infinite, not not this sarcastic infinite here. God, what a name, too. Is that even a real thing? About to double hit this Galeta. Galeta, I think, is, like, super broken. I don't know if that's just me. Um, but I think it's, like, crazy. Oh, dude, speaking of crazy, that little that little golden boy right there in the middle, I can't remember his name, but uh, Flounder, maybe? That guy's crazy, too. I, I could even, like, buy this cow, freeze the milk. Okay, I would never do that. You're right, because I only ever need level 1 fringe heads. Wait, I just thought about it. I wonder if the trigger limit can go up if they're higher level fringe heads. I didn't think about that. Food for thought? Anyways, we're finally getting to the point where um, I can put the whole team together. We can get this uh, yeah, a little, a little buy-sell cockatoo action. We had to make it a turn 11 no matter what to get mush mushroomy. I uh, got the second donkey, so now we just need donkey to get to level two, and then we also need to get kind of lucky because our, our fringe heads need to be big enough to actually take stuff out, but also not kill their entire team. I didn't have a lot of problems, but if, if we were to face like this guy or something, oh yeah, we would have clowned on him. He would have had no team left to, to do anything with. So we're getting close. We have to have the level both level two donkeys though with the way that it works you know you spawn in front it pushes two it then you have the mushroom come back it dies i just punch my hand and then and then it spawns again and it pushes the other two and then you're left with the the front fringe head it's crazy dude it's so crazy uh these guys i think the push pets are some of the coolest pets in the game they're just so neat I just, like, fix his shark position. Just kidding. See, this is, like, a team. I could have faced this team and just, like, got nothing, dude. Oh, we see a little bit of action there, technically. Look, look. So it went off for a little bit, but then it just stopped. And I didn't even, I didn't even realize at that point that it was sort of, sort of doing it already. So now we have the tiny little baby fringe head in. We can put our two big fat boys up there, and now we've got it settled. Uh, except for the, the last level 2 donkey. So, 9 wins, 4 lives, turn 14 with this board is unbelievable. We don't find the donkey either, so I kind of have to throw. And I will tell you, it is not easy to throw, <laughs> even when your team looks like this. I was trying to figure out like uh, the best way to do it. I only wanted one donkey trigger, if possible. Because like this team right here, I really needed to lose to this. And if... If we move both turkey parrot up, we probably just clear. I mean, donkey's just a strong unit, and m most people in uh, the earlier bracket tend to to float towards summons. So donkey like kind of ruins a lot of them. But we're solid here, uh, just rolling. I've got plenty of gald, and we've got it set up. The sarcastic fringe head infinite. I actually don't know if this is the team. This is a team, and I actually... It happened here, right? So we see it. Boom. Move two. It dies. We don't get that one. That's fine. Two move again. And then here. We have both there, and they should both just trigger infinitely. But that one didn't even go. I had to rewatch this battle. We're going to be rewatching a lot of battles here. Um, I had to rewatch that battle because I was like, huh? I was like, uh, that didn't look right. So... We're going to go into this next turn, and we're going to watch the battle a few times, and we're going to, you know, see it in slow-mo. It's it's a much better team to look at because everything is perfect about it. So here we go. Beautiful. 
All right, and there it is. There it is. So why, why doesn't that next one spawn? And it was the same thing like last time. That last one just doesn't spawn again. And you can see me, I, I'm already inching closer and closer to the replay button because I'm like, huh? No, sir. I start reading the ability. Hmm, I'm like, hmm, no triggers. Um, it's like, did, did the level one bad? Need level three? 3315? Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm pausing it. I cannot, I cannot believe I have to <laughs> read the ability again. Back most friend up front for the enemy. We know how this works. This is the perfect setup. This is the, the most optimal thing that you can get. And I get one more. That's it. They, they already summoned all that they could for both teams. So if both teams theoretically had a fringe head, you just can't get more than three all time. I, I guess it's like whoever's fringe head goes first has advantage because they get the double. Or is that the disadvantage? Who's to say? Who's to say? Probably if you're running fringe head, you're probably already at a disadvantage. Let's be real. Uh, but that, at this point, I'm... I'm dumbfounded. I'm speckled dwarfed. Uh, I've been cheated and lied to. I also lose the round on top of it, so the game isn't just over for me, unfortunately. So I have to I have to go into turn 17 with with one of the worst boards of all time. Didn't even get the infinite going, uh, and there's probably no shot that I I beat any team, brother. And no matter no matter how many times you read it, it's not changing. The outcome has happened. Yeah, let's move on. I know, I know. I'm just as sad as you are. Rewatching it over and over and over again. Yeah, so we just hit this here. I I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm like maybe maybe let's try to level up a French head one and a half. That'll do it surely. And there's just no world we we beat this team. But yeah, crazy, crazy that this doesn't work. I, I was very shocked. We we could have just like tested it in like a customs, like against an alt or something. That probably would have been the smarter move. <laughs> so I didn't have to waste time doing it in here. But fuck it, we ball. We are on nine wins, turn 12 with five lives with this board. You're telling me, you're telling me this board right here is going to be like a, a flawless. I even try to throw. I don't know why. I, oh, because I don't have mushrooms. And uh, it, it is just impossible. Oh my god, the donkey. Push, I, he wastes every trigger, moves my donkey to the front, and then I clear. And then I clean house. But yeah, go check out Equi. Really cool stuff he's got over there. Theory crafting and such. Very good player. Uh, I enjoyed the build nonetheless. I just wish it worked. So I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day. Hello, my beautiful star children. The sag says hello. Fuck, I messed it up.